So if you guys saw my video last week, you'll know that we talked about the downfall of Mi6 and all of the things that Mi6 has been doing wrong and how their rise to the top of the mountain is slowly starting to go downhill exponentially. So this video is gonna act as a follow-up to last week's video. I'm gonna show you guys the best alternative that you can use instead of Mi6 that's actually gonna be even better than Mi6 because you're gonna get more features for free rather than having to pay for them. But before we dive into that bot, I wanna tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, WAP. WAP is a platform that allows internet entrepreneurs the ability to monetize their Discord communities. With WAP, you're able to set up your own storefront where you can sell multiple different levels of access to any of your Discord servers. Your store will then be listed on their community marketplace where you can grow your server organically and users can leave reviews on their experience with you. Check out WAP today via the link at the top of the description. And if you wanna learn more, feel free to check out my full length video going over everything with WAP that I'll also have down below for you. Thank you again to WAP and now let's get back to the video. All right, so the bot that we're gonna be looking at today is Sapphire Bot. It's a somewhat popular bot you may have heard of it before, but it's a really cool bot. It's a multi-purpose utility bot. So it has pretty much everything that Mi6 has and a lot of it is free. So you don't have to pay for it. So let's go ahead and add it to our server. Uh, I'll have the link to it down in the description below for you. And then you're just gonna add it to your server and pick the server that you're gonna use. I'm gonna be doing it in my test server. And for some reason I have to enter in my authentication code. I don't know why it makes me do that. It seems like it's only ever on my test. When I add stuff to my test server, for some reason I have to enter in that code every time. Once you have the bot in your Discord server, you'll be greeted over here on the left side, the Sapphire dashboard. It'll be on your overview screen. And on the left, you have all of your main features that you can set up. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a different setup here on the video since we're gonna be editing bot stuff and putting it in the server at the same time. That way you can kind of see a live reaction of both what's happening on both ends, the bot dashboard and inside the server. So first let's dive into the bot. What all features are you gonna get with this bot? So the very first thing is your overview. That's just going to instantly take you to some of these different things. You're gonna have custom branding if you wanna pay for that. And I, what's really cool is I believe this is the only paid feature of this bot. I don't think any of these features down here require you to pay for them. This is the only thing you have to pay for if you want to. And this is something that's totally optional. It's just to customize the bot with your own profile picture and stuff. So that's already a plus underneath that you're gonna have general server settings you have permissions who can use the bot and manage the bot and everything then you're gonna have messages this is going to be like a welcome message if you want that's one of the things we're actually gonna set up um, underneath that you have an error log you have auto moderation a lot of different auto moderations features that you can set up uh, we'll definitely be setting up some of those you have uh, more moderation features like what your mods can use to ban people with the bot or whatever you have social media notifications, which again, all of these are free. Unlike me six, we had to pay for them. You have join roles, which allows people to get a role whenever they first join the server. So in this case, we'll be setting it up. So when someone joins our server, they automatically get the member role. Underneath that, you have reaction roles. Uh, all you guys know what those are. React to it with an emoji and you get a role. Pretty simple. Then you have welcome messages for when people join the server, when they boost it, or when they get a certain role or lose a role. And then lastly, you have audit logging, which is gonna just keep a log of all the different actions that happen in the server. So the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the welcome message. It's just gonna welcome a user to the server whenever they first join. To do this, all you're gonna do is come over here to the welcome messages tab, and then we're gonna do a join message. We're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna create a new message. Now, this is basically asking, do you want it to send to the user's DMs, or do you want it to send to the actual server we're not going to send it to the dms we're going to do to the actual server and we're going to send it to the welcome channel that i set up so when you after you click that this is going to bring up the preview of the message and then where you can also edit the message for welcome message i don't like it to be too complicated i like it to just be plain and simple much like this down here that you can see at the bottom right this is what it looks like in another server i set up recently that's all you that's all you really need for a welcome message to me personally if you want to add in some more stuff maybe you can redirect people to other channels. You can type in more stuff after it and redirect them to certain channels if you want to. But me personally, I'm not gonna do that. I just want it to be a general, hey user, welcome to the server. So now that we like the way it looks, this is the preview. Cool, it looks good. We're just gonna save changes. And just like that, the welcome message is now set up. So that's the welcome message, pretty simple. Let's now do the join roles. Whenever a new server or a new member joins the server, we wanna give them the member role. So we're gonna come up here to the join roles. And this is super simple. All you do is click the plus button and pick the role you want to give people whenever they join. 
I'm just going to give the one of these color rolls the green roll. Whenever they join, they'll now get the green roll upon joining. Save your changes at the bottom. That's super simple. Next, let's jump into reaction rolls. Uh, to do this, you're gonna add the new message and then you can use an existing message if you want it to come from your account that you typed out. You can do that or you can create a new message. I'm gonna create a new message here and we're gonna do it in the reaction rolls channel that we've already set up. And now all we're gonna do is choose what roles we wanna give. So I'm gonna do the, I know I have some color rolls, so I'm gonna do some colored emojis, for example, blue. And we're gonna do the blue circle. We're gonna do the, I know I have a red one, I believe. And then I know I have a orange one as well. So we'll do orange, for some reason I can't type these good. Okay, so now that we typed out a few, now we're gonna give the actual roll that that emoji is gonna give. So we're gonna do blue. And then after saving changes, cool. We're gonna click uh, red and then we're gonna click orange. And then you can come in and edit the message. So now we're actually gonna type out the message that we want to be there. Uh, so we're gonna say color, we're gonna name it color rolls because that's what these are. And we're gonna type out a description. Pretty self-explanatory, color rolls for the title, use the below emojis to claim color rolls. That's pretty simple. We can preview it if we want to. That's how it's gonna look right there. I like the way that looks. We're gonna save changes and in a minute or so, it should send the message into the channel right there. Reaction rolls, boom. So now we've got the message in the reaction roll channel. Now to make sure this bot actually works right and gives out the roles like it's supposed to, you wanna come into your server settings and go to roles and you wanna drag this bot all the way up to the top. Um, if you don't drag Sapphire up to the top, then it's not gonna be able to give out roles to any role that is above it. So you wanna make sure Sapphire is all the way at the top and then save your changes. And now you should be able to come down here and make sure I don't have the blue. Okay, I don't have the blue roll. So we can click the blue emoji and I should get the blue roll. There we go, I got the blue roll. It takes about a second to two seconds to get, but it works. So those are the reaction rolls. So now you have welcome messages set up, you have join rolls set up, and you also have reaction rolls set up. We can also set up social media notifications. So let's come in here and say, if a user is uh, listed below or publishes a video or stream, a message will be sent to that selected channel. So we should just be able to type in gesture, I think, uh, youtube.com slash gesture. So to add YouTube channels, you actually need the channel ID. You don't need just the username. So we're gonna come in here and copy my channel ID, which is right there. And we're gonna paste that in and confirm. And there it is, my YouTube channel. So we need to set a channel that it's gonna send it to and what, what role it's gonna notify. So you can click no channel set and you can actually pick the channel that you want to go to. I don't have a channel set up yet, so I'm just gonna send it to the general channel. And then if you click this settings button, you can actually choose which roles it's gonna send the message to. So uh, in, in this case, you would have like a YouTube ping roll set up or a video ping roll set up. I don't, so we're just gonna pick the yellow roll and we're gonna save the changes. So now you have a YouTube notification set up to where anytime I post something on YouTube, it's gonna automatically send it to the general channel and it's gonna notify the yellow roll. You can also do the same thing for Twitch and Twitter and then Instagram is coming soon, but all of that is free to use. You don't have to pay for any of that, which is really cool. And you can even set up more than one. Like if I wanna set up another channel for my second channel, I can go in and do that free of charge. So then we have auto moderation. If we go into the advanced auto moderation, there's a lot of different things you can set up. You can block spam, you can block mentions when people mention too many times. You can block attachments, emojis, message lines, capitalization, links, which is really good. And that's something that almost every bot on the market makes you pay for. If you wanna block links, you have to pay for it. This bot, you don't have to pay for it. So if you click on manage roles and channels for the link setting, all you have to do is come in and set roles which won't be punished. The following roles will be excluded. So let's say we want our blue our blue role and our red role to be able to send links, but we don't want anyone else to send links. We're gonna click manage roles and channels and we're gonna make sure this says on the following roles will be excluded. We're gonna add the roles, we're gonna add blue and we're gonna add red, and now blue and red will be able to send links, but no one else will be able to send links. And then you have all these other things you can go through and set up. You can manage your invites, warn, special channels. There's tons of things you can mess with. So definitely dive in and look at all of these different auto mod features you can set up. And then you have all of your regular moderation tools where your mods and admins can use slash commands to be able to perform all of these different actions. These are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through and set most of these up because they're really just slash commands inside of the bot. And that's a pretty good general overview of what all you can do with Sapphire bot. Uh, pretty much most of the things that me six can do and a hundred percent of it's all free only thing you have to pay for if you want to is the custom branding which is not required at all 
So now you guys can finally kick me six out of your server. And you know what? Maybe not even kick me six. Maybe you should ban it from your server so I can never come back. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like to help spread the video around to others. And if you want to keep up to date with all my future Discord content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.